good industry in healthcare. If you remember the map I showed a while ago, nasa gitna po ang Prince George. So everyone from BC would go to PG for anything healthcare related. So sikat pa rin That's where standards are very, very high. Also, tourism has been booming in PG even despite the pandemic, especially right now that uh, some borders are slowly opening. Right, so in a nutshell, basically in PG, you earn more and you save more. Um, the best analogy I can give you on what it's like to live in Prince George is that you imagine you're earning the salary of Metro Manila, but the cost of living is like you're in Ilocos or maybe you are in Bohol. Ganon kamura po mamuhay sa Prince George. Mind you, most of our students, they don't take the bus, even though free ang bus students, they buy their own cars after a few months, right? Ganon po affordable, I mean, describe pag yung uh, layo ng sweldo and expenses, malaki po ang matitipid talaga. So this is the best place for you if you want to jumpstart your chapter in Canada. Now let's proceed to our school. I won't show some videos, but we can just focus on the question and answer. So why CNC or what is our school specifically? Um, again, we're a public school. We've been here in PG for 50 years now. Being a public school, we do provide PGWP. It's affordability and quality in one. Ang um, intake po natin is every January, May, and September. So right now, we're open for January. But if you wish to apply for May and September, please feel free to do so. But for now, itipi lang po natin siya. Um, we have a good problem where in Sumobra an application last year, and I'm very thankful to Tony about this one. Um, most ang Pilipino sa CNC, hence we needed to increase our seats. We have to adjust some uh, application processes, so everything's online with us right now. So the earlier you apply, the earlier you mapila, the sooner you can get your seats, right? Uh, tuition fee, we're affordable by up to 40%. Tuition is as low as 9,000 Canadian per year. All our programs are no IELTS, just submit a medium of instruction. Tuition deposit starts at 6,500 or 10,000, regardless of the course, fixed po ang tuition deposit natin. How about the payment terms? It's usually per sample. So next payment nyo, before the second semester starts na. No either charges, of course. Now, with regards to the process, I just give this to Sir Marvin, a fast way. Uh, we respect their process, they have their own thing to do, and uh, they will check your application how the process goes, so inquire with them immediately. Right? Even with the timeline, sila na po ang bahala dyan. Amingin ko, hindi kami ganun kapiles right now. Again, we are in the process of adjusting our system, kasi nga sobrang bumuhus pong applicants natin. Ang um, CNC po kasi is limited seats na. So, dapat talaga apply ASAP, kasi Hindi natin masasabi, baka yung September or May pa lang is ubus na kaagad. Right? There you go. Let me skip this part. Skip na natin yan para makafocus na kaysa dapat tandaan. Right? Alright, let's focus on the courses. If ever you'll be checking our website later on, uh, mind you, it's better to get assessed and ask fast way. Kasi hindi po lahat ng courses na nasa website natin is offered to international students. Our website also caters to, to domestic applicants. And uh, mind you, only Prince George campus accommodates international students, right? So to our courses, uh, we have programs under business and management. Everything's no idols, two years duration. I'd like to highlight here our program, uh, the best sellers will be post-diploma in human resource and tourism and hotel management. Both of these courses, Mabilis Maubos, though we extended seats already, the cost is 10,000 below. Post diploma in tourism, 9,000 below na lang siya. Uh, recently, nag-ass ng 1,000 lang si Human Resource. Um, admittedly speaking, kakataas lang niya from 14,000, from 7,000 per year, na 9,000, na 10,000. The reason being is the demand. Kapag dumadami talaga ang application, we need to find a way to do something about it. That's the economics for you, right? So it's really growing, it's a good sign, right? But still very low, 10K, uh, 10K. Assisting early childhood and healthcare assistant po natin is not offered for now. Given we're a public school, the governing body of Prince George took our seats or took the slots for healthcare program. I think we gave it away to locals. That shows the quality of program that we have. But for Filipinos, don't you worry, we still have the practical nurse.
Digital Philippines naman po tayo. And the university credit programs, which is a uh, top seller dito, will be kinesiology for PT graduates and web and graphic design diploma. So, marami tayong courses. Again, the best step is to get assessed first to determine what program works for you. Now, let's proceed quickly for the campus itself. It's very, very big. We have everything that we need. I won't go through this one, um, each, each of this. Um, but I suggest you do check. Uh, I have a YouTube account. Not a channel, because I feel easy na para kong vlogger or not. <laughs> I just have a compilation of videos from CNC. We also have a virtual tour of CNC in my account. So check it out, please. Don't leave a comment. I'm not a vlogger again. But if you have questions, you can leave a comment there. Alright? Um, Accommodation-wise, magkano po ang accommodation sa PG? Ang minimum po na nakuha ng mga lumipad nating students recently, this is recent, is 350 Canadian dollars and that's with utilities na po. 350 dollars per month in utilities na, it's still available in Prince George. Alright? We have on-campus accommodation, off-campus. The 350 I mentioned is actually off-campus. Mind you, mas mura po ang off-campus versus on-campus. Home stays as well. And the you want major city like Vancouver. Again, um, I just want you guys to be clear what's your main goal why you want to study abroad. If you're okay being flexible just to jumpstart your journey, start with CNC, it's the best managed risk for you, right? Salary in Vancouver and now British Columbia, by the way, it increased to $15, 15.2 something per hour. So, Tomas po. All right, and marami trabaho given British Columbia low unemployment rate, but, um, British Columbia as a whole, siyempre, PG is the third most invested city. So, top three city siya, and uh, marami trabaho po dyan. Right? Other support that we give, given we're a public school, and to be honest, medyo affordable na po kami, the best that we can give us support is, uh, I think I skipped the slide, but um, we do have a Facebook group for students who have LOO. From there, sinusupport na po namin kayo para hindi kayo basta naniniwala sa social media. Okay? Para binabasa niyo na lang yung tamang comments coming from the professionals and coming from the school itself. So once you get accepted at the school, yeah, add po kayo sa group natin para namimit din niyo yung mga matiging classmates niyo. That's one support para you feel at home. Add to that, in airport wake-up, we do assist on that. So everything's about service for CNC, okay? And earlier, actually, I just got home. I met a student who will be flying to Canada August 1, I think. So I just gave her a jacket, as you can see. Um, I paid for her coffee as well. I need to a here in Manila, if ever. Or maybe I can go to Sibuna eventually, before I go to Canada. Right? So we do have this merchandise for you to really feel that you're part of the CNC family. Right? So whatever your plan is, whatever your reason for studying in Canada, I hope I made my case that studying at CNC is a good option for you. It's low cost and it's high return. So uh, now I, uh, I'm open to discuss any questions and I bring the floor back to Sir Marvin or uh, Tony. Thank you. All right, thank you so thank much, you Sir Marvin. Thank we you. can proceed with the community. Okay. Uh, we'll start. Okay. Uh, let's start with, yes, message of inbox of your question. Okay, it's we. Do you, uh, from, from Nalisa Caballes, do you offer a scholarship from in CNC? Sir, no, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, offshore meaning from Philippines po, wala pa tayo scholarship kasi sobrang affordable na sir. Mababa talaga yung cost. But the good news is, once you get to Canada, uh, onshore ka na, meron tayong scholarship programs depende sa college. So may binibigay pa sila mga discounts, usually merit-based naman siya. Yeah, so all you have to do is just finish your one semester. Once ma ma-reach nyo po yung certain GPA in one semester, madadins list kayo or what, you can apply for a merit scholarship. There are a lot of scholarships available to the international students or to their students. You can apply as many scholarships as you can. 
All right. Um, Marvin, I do have a question here on my end. Now, Angela, just to make it clear to everyone, how much is the session fee for TNT, College of Nicola Luna? How much is the tuition fee in general? Yearly. Yes, yearly. Um, Siguro average would be around 13, 12 to 13 per year. As you can see, everybody, this is one of the cheapest schools. Cheapest tuition fee that you get able to get. All in all, is already, already around 13 thousand Canadian dollars per year. And then they waive IELTS to all programs, right? Yes, no IELTS. No IELTS to all programs. And then application fee is just around 125. 125. Uh, 125. Yeah. 125 yeah. This company 25. So 125. Yeah. Alright. So we know that you have programs that are co-op, okay? Uh, sadly we don't have co-op. Alright, you don't internship. Internship, yes, we do. Yes, we do. During internship, do you help your students with looking for an employer? Yes, it's part of the support they give, and internship it can be paid or not, depending on the program and uh, how the school will support you. All right. Yes. So, um, College of New Caledonia is a publicly funded um, college in uh, in Prince George. So they are part also with the DLI. They accept international students. And with that, you are eligible to work while studying, so you can work 20 hours per week and full time on school breaks. It was mentioned by Angelo, they have the lowest unemployment rate, so no need to worry about looking for a part time job because their student services or international student services will also help you. That's true. Thank you. All right. Okay. Next, Next question. question. By Eugene, my God, is there a potential employer part time job on the campus? Off campus while standing on or off campus regarding uh, employer part time job. Uh, off campus oh. or on campus? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, um, of course, you can see the good thing is we also have on campus uh, jobs, so I don't think it will count your 40 or 20 hours per week. Um, you just have to inquire and apply on your college if it's available. Off campus, we have a student union that is also tumukulong sa paghahanap ng part time job niyo. And uh, the good thing I'd like to expound on the student union, they also assist our students to transition from student to PGWP. So everything will be as smooth as possible during your stay in Canada. Well, Amazing. Thank you. And then another well, question by Mindin A. It is a private or a public? Public funded. Public or public? Public, yeah. This is a mm -hmm. public school. And then another question by Nerd. Uh, to get a low cert, not necessary in a hundred percent of tuition fee for the entire year, yung babayaran ni Master. First semester lang ba yung babayaran? I think she can be as per any to the tuition deposit. Yeah, ah. tuition deposit. Yeah, uh, per se, minimum one sem of pwede mong payaran, uh, but of course, Fastly will be the one to help you out. What works best? Um, for CNC, minimum is one sem, yeah. but uh, with, I'll give the uh, expertise to Fastly on what they will suggest on your best chance of being approved. Kasi maraming factors to consider to you. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, for all the applicants, if you have some uh, processing and and together with the family, if you're bringing your family, just leave your contact here and we will guide you and we will assist you. This is a free consultation. No peace. Man. Nice. Okay, next is J. Fred Bernales. Magamit po ba yung NC2 paghahanap ng part-time job sa Canada? And this is, I think, a uh, test that. Test the certificate. Magagamit po ba for applying for a job in Canada? Ah, uh, well, basta ang minimum requirement, sir, ng CNC para makapag-enroll ka is grade 12. So, yung NC2, I think that would count on the education part, right? Um, correct me, Tony, if I'm, if I'm mistaken there, no? Um, basta, minimum requirement if you're old curriculum, 12 years ka nag so meaning at the second year college. So, if nag-test na ka NC2, I'm not sure how long that is, but usually it's months. The point it's is... Months to one year. It's months to one year. The point is, dapat mag-accumulate yung education background mo into total of 12 years. Yun pa yung patanggap. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Another question by Marie Rose. Is it difficult to find a job there as a student? Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, the quick answer to that is no. 
uh, and I have documented experiences. Um, some students even take two jobs, legally speaking. <laughs> so it's not hard to find a job in PG, and I think the advantage to studying at CNC is that in limited skills, we are confident and certain that we will be able to give you an opportunity to work by less competitive. Okay, another question by Mylene. How's the transportation system there? Transport system, uh, we have buses, um, and some would buy bikes, but I mentioned a while ago for our students, we just buy their cars, seriously. So usually after six months to one year, they buy their cars because it's very affordable there. And they don't want to buy anything. Another question by Joanne, uh, how much all in all does cost for processing until we get there to Canada? Okay. I think that pertains to you, yeah, yeah. Ashley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, regarding this question, just leave your contact here and your email address so that we can have a one on one consultation. Okay, another by Emily. Uh, ba bang limit kapag may apply na ng nani? Ah, this is, uh, this is for work. Uh, this is for work. Uh, I think uh, we will discuss this separately. This is uh, a small, uh, this is our part. Here. Okay. Okay. If you have some question, just open your mic. If just open your mic also, and also leave your chat. Leave, leave here in the chat box. But another Juan, but it's okay for student visa. But is there other way like work on that one? Okay. Regarding this, uh, we discuss this also separately. Okay. Another question uh, by Eugene. How about as installment scheme? So remaining balance when international students has a tuition fee per year. Angela? Yeah, ang um, pinaka-installment natin is per semester po talaga. Um, yun nga, if one semester mo ng bayad, then the next payment would be after one semester. So, mag-aan na po siya, so talaga. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lee. Okay, have a question, just open your mic if you have some question. Okay, thank you, Bookworm. Uh, I just have to recap. Uh, there is no IELTS and uh, wait. With IELTS, and then this is a PGWP uh, program, yes. and then uh, all the applicants can bring their spouse or kids, then it's about the yes. exam. Case is a uh, free education, so for assisting you, all the applicants uh, just book us and uh, just leave your number and your email address so that we can have uh, assessment. Um, excuse me, Martin, my question to Saken. Um, Andrew, this is about the quarantine process. But before that, for the 2021 class, September 2021 classes for CNC, is it already face to face or online? Face to face, not online for September. That's great. That's so great. moving forward, everything will be face to face. Yes, so far. Yes. All right. And then with, it, with the quarantine plan, Will the school help the students? Yeah, uh, we assist them. That's uh, one of the reasons we compile them in one group. We assist mm -hmm. them, even the alumni are helping out um, in finding quarantine places in PG and even in Vancouver. Do you have a partner hotel for it? Or? Yeah, uh, we do have partner hotels, uh, but since na pupuno siya due to the arrival of students talaga, that's where the alumni come in. Um, mm -hmm. sila suggesting places, and uh, so that students can see. Okay. Next question is for Pathway. So after finishing the program, are you gonna help us when it turns to processing yes. of current yes. residency? Yes, we can do that. Also. All right. So Pathway will help you with that. For Bookworm, um, um, you can watch the live later on, the recorded live uh, for the presentation. How much are we going to spend? It will be discussed during one-on-one -on -one consultation with Passway. So, but everything pertaining to financial, everything will be discussed with Passway one-on-one. Okay? Yeah, sure. Next question is, how long would it take to study in Canada diploma and accounting related course under? Accounting, what we have is a diploma in finance, accounting and finance and accounting post baccalaureate. Both are for two years old. So if you study for two years, you will get to have an extension or PWP of two years or three. Up to three years, yes, exactly. Yeah. 
Next, here, what about the classes? How many hours per week? Or how many days per week also, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, good, good question. Actually, hindi ko pa masasabi, Andrew, but I can assure the students, um, siguro on the average, maybe three days a week. But uh, the best thing is I can assure you, you have time for part-time job. Don't worry. <laughs> Next, from Eugene Mangon, how about civil engineering technology? Um, is there a big demand, demand is can charge for employment after graduation? Yeah, um, mataas ang demand ng engineering natin, but to be honest, uh, from the Philippine applicants, kasi dumalabas is a certificate program, so how to qualify them is a bit of a challenge. I'm hoping fast we can, can find a way to squeeze in some applicants. But the demand is there, uh, we also have good work opportunities for them. Uh, mind you, our number one industry is forestry, so engineering people are really needed for that part of uh, part of the uh, Prince George Talaga. Alright. So what if their visa gets denied or refused? Will they get a full refund? Maybe you can discuss the refund process and the federal process of the end. Yes, uh, great question. For the refund process, yes, we do refund except for the application fee and of course some bank fees. But we will only refund if the visa is really denied. Okay. If you're backing out, we cannot refund that one for you, so you should be denied. Now, in terms of the federal process, uh, this is a bit of a challenge and we're still working on. Kasi nga po, dahil limited seats ang application natin, usually kapag nagpa-defer ang applicant due to certain reasons, we need to check if mayroong affordable slot for that course on the next nearest meeting. Kasi it's, it's possible na pag defer ka, you have to wait one year or not only one intake. So, yun yung challenge natin. It does not guarantee you na pick ka na you can defer anywhere or anytime. Uh, again, our seats are limited, so we are encouraging everyone na halimbawa ang madenay kayo. Huwag kayong madiscourage kasi ang denial naman po sa Canada is just saying, please just update your documents, that's it. It doesn't mean they don't want you in Canada. So ayusin lang po and try to apply as soon as possible ulit before we decide to defer your application. Kasi medyo challenging lang talaga on our end. Talagang bukos po ang application. Okay, um, Angela, just a question. Upon sure. receiving the letter of offer from CNT, how many days does a student need to pay the tuition deposits? One month. Within one month, pagka receive po ng uh, LOO, letter of offer, you need to pay the tuition deposit, or else baka mabump off kayo ng other applicants. Okay. Are you strict with students having previous um, failing grades in their academic transcripts? Yes, um, med medyo maangas kami dyan. <laughs> but yeah, we, we do require na yung sa transcript nyo, kahit pinasag mo ulit siya, but kung meron pa yung anong na 5, or kung anong equivalent niya sa school nyo, basta anong na bagsa, we cannot accept you. So, we apologize for that, but that is part of the requirements ko. Okay. What about for study gap? Let's just say the student has um, uh, was not able to graduate um, undergrad, third year undergraduate college, right? And then have been working for a really long time. Now wants let's say have been working for ten years. Now wants to they want to study again. Is that possible in CNC? Yeah, I, I don't see any problem to be honest. At the end of the day, I think it will all boil down to how the SOP will be created, the proof of documentation. Mm -hmm. For me, um, this is the good thing about. Uh, having local reps as well. I can support everyone. I can support Fastway on defending it working in Canada to explain how the situation goes in the Philippines. I think that's what makes us unique na hindi minsan nag get sa Canada. So, that's very possible. We just have to work together on it. Alright. I mean, you have, what is the course that is very in demand related to healthcare? Uh, actually, in healthcare assistant, very in demand. Yes. Yeah, like, in a <laughs> so, the healthcare assistant, I know it's very in demand. What about the seat availability? For healthcare, I know, wala talaga siya. Um, until further notice, the governing body had to book our classes and give it to domestic students. But if they want for a replacement on anything healthcare related, they can take practical nursing. We also have social work diploma, early childhood. So, marami naman po options. All right, now let's go back to the live questions here. Um, what's the easiest course that has high chance of getting a job? Yes. That's Jen, 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 Matanda, 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 Matanda,
I, it really depends on your qualifications also. Yes. But, but, and then the other thing is when you get there, it's going to be also you, even though um, TMC has its um, student union that will help you, it's going to be you who will be uh, doing all the interview pro for the employer. Okay? That's true. Now, how many students per class do you have? Um, small class sizes naman tayo, hindi tayo lumalagpas ng 20. Siguro max na 25, depende po sa demand. Yeah. Okay. okay, now this question is for class weight. How about for like baby under one year old? Is there any child care or daycare center that we can rely on if there is to we have support from the government too? Okay, one year old, uh, Yes, it is allowed. allowed. Yeah. All right, so they do have, and Pastor can help you with that. They um, take care of the CNC, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah. what a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so this also is fun. Uh, okay. Does it need so many or possible? Yes, so for student visa, student permit to Canada, uh, so many is really needed. Yes. Just do your, just book your one month consultation with Pastor. They will explain it to you thoroughly and in very detail how much all will be the financial cost will be. So yeah, their one-on-one yeah. -on -one consultation is for free. Now, yeah. take it. Yes. They're really yeah. good counselors. Mm -hmm. Now, here, what if I will be graduating one year program and I'll get enrolled on another one year program? Would that be able to be expanded also? So, let me answer this. For sure. Now, for the one plus one, it's going to be like this. You study one year. After finishing your one semester, you can now apply for the second program. You can now apply for the additional one program. Para pagkatapos mo ng one year niyo, then that's why you study small. Okay, so don't wait for your one year program to end to apply for the another program. Baka po puno na yan. Yes. Even if you don't ka, you're not going to prioritize kasi marami po tayo na apply and then you can see. PNC has very limited slots because of their very competitive prior. Now, again, you can apply ahead first. Apply first your one program after, after studying one semester. Mm -hmm. You cannot apply for your second program. Okay. okay, then you can get a PGOT for two years or three years. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now if you want this question from Emily, and if I want to pay to visa to Canada for healthcare, how much is the tuition fee for the social okay. service worker, Jello? Wait, let me open my file. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe while waiting, um, Pastor sure. can answer about she is already 55 years old. What are the chances? How young again? 55 years old. 25. Well, I'm more proud that. 55. Yes. Well, we don't have age limit, man. Again, mm -hmm. uh, I'll give the task to Sir Marvin how yeah. to compose the documentation. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, Unless we get age, we get yes. the requirements from the Canada. Uh, yes. Because in the schools, the schools accept all variety of each each group. They yeah. don't this, they don't have any discrimination or what. Yes. Um and then another thing is your justification to the embassy about why study again or why not. You're gonna be. and then fast we can help you with that. Yes, that's yes. correct. So yeah, uh, for the social service worker diploma, the tuition cost is twenty nine thousand one hundred two Canadian dollars for two years. So around uh lost the math. Do the math for me. And I am sorry. Twenty nine thousand for two years. Divide by two. Uh, <laughs> 40, 50. Very good calculator cost. Forty something. Forty something, yeah. <laughs> This is the calculator, huh? <laughs> <laughs> something per year, and uh, mind you, po, the social service worker diploma, if you want to take it, part of the requirements is that you have a voluntary certificate. So if you're interested, mag-process po, and we'll just give the complete info to Sir Marvin. Okay. Thank you. Like, uh, I'm sure. ready about that, Marvin. Yeah. Can I bring someone who is not a family member? Who oh, is this someone? Is this your common law partner? If it's your common law partner, it's possible. As long as you're able to provide proof uh, of you guys being common law. If, if this is just a friend, uh, ang pwede lang po is spouse, uh, yeah. common law partner. Common partner, yes. Okay, do you offer debit programs? Yes. 
Graduate, um, I think the closest we have would be the post-baccalaureate. The other programs are post-diploma. So if you'll be looking at it academic level, halos pareho siya ng bachelors. But you, have, you need to look at it in the sense yung level of study in your Philippines versus Canada, it's a win-win, whatever you think. Okay. Now, do you offer the Petroleum Tech course or program related? Well, that's very good, uh, very good okay. specific course, sadly no. Um, but the closest you can get would be civil engineering, that's one. Right. For Jade Fred Bernales, we can offer you more Canadian universities that has low tuition fees. Feel free to book your consultation with Pathway and we can offer you with that together with the Flyboard. We can definitely offer you something, okay? Okay. All right, next question is from John Laurent. I am a um, mechanical engineer here in the Philippines. Again, am I qualified for anything okay. related to petroleum tech? Ang mapasa sa natin, Sir Marvin, talaga makita natin. Kasi kahit yun ang gusto niya, matang natin sa experience, it doesn't work. So, baka may ibang option po. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, are there business school credential needed for school application? Yeah, no? Yeah, right now we need it. Um, again, it's part of the demand that we're having. Before, hindi siya needed sayang, huli kayong konti. Ngayon, mm -hmm. it's needed na high school diploma in Form 137. We don't need the latest naman, just submit what you have uh, para hindi kayo nagrapan din. Yeah. Okay, for book, we're almost 30k at this. Yes, so, yes. at the run, again, it's about 20, not 24. 29,000 yes. for two years. So two years, ha? That's very competitive because the Eva is just one year uh, yeah. for a Yeah. Okay. So for, ano, for pre consultations, we will discuss okay. about the student visa application and the show okay. merit requirements and the, spots okay. and the sponsorship. Okay. Okay. Any question by John? Hello? John Kimber, do you have a question? Do you want do you want to unmute yourself and ask a question? I don't know. Okay. Oh, there, there. John? Yeah, I think. Okay, so if you wish to do it, um, feel free to uh, uh, book your one-on-one -on -one consultation with them. Yeah. Um, does past we have an in house IELTS review center, do you have partner IELTS review center? Yes, yes. Yes, we have here. We have. That's good, right? Yeah. Now, if you maybe uh, some of our attendees would like to uh, send an application to one of the schools that are IELTS are required, so they do have a partner IELTS review center. Okay. That's it, I believe. Do you have any live questions? Alright, so how much is the consultation fee of uh, past week? Uh, no fees. This is free. Free consultation. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So consultation is free? Yes, sir. Sure, sure. Text or can I eat with you after the session? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, good news. Uh, Canada is off and out for pandemic since last year. So, don't worry for... Apply now. Apply now. All the students, all the students uh, wants to study in Canada, apply now. Because okay, Canada John, no need for IELTS. Again, CNP is raising their IELTS requirement. Okay, so all yes. you have to do is submit your certificate of English. Right, Jello? Yes, that's correct. Certificate of English as medium of instruction. So you can just get that specific document from the previous school where you are studying. Yeah. yeah. I only need the one from college, so I'm only for high school. Yeah, college. Yeah, college, college. Now, uh, Fastway has already presented their uh, details. Feel yeah. free to take a screenshot, save their numbers, fire. You can book your one-on-one consultation and they can definitely provide you or recommend you some programs that is suitable based on your qualifications. Yes. Okay. All right, we'll definitely wait for your documents done. Okay, any more questions from our live audience? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, 
wala na siguro yung wala na siguro magdata. Okay. If you have some question, just leave it in the box. And also, if you have a uh, question regarding the future practicing. Oh, great! So, what is my drop or incomplete grade? Drop or incomplete is uh, not considered fail, so it's fine. Basta one bagsak. Okay, okay. So, yeah. it's a piece of processing. Okay. Okay. So, visa processing now is very unpredictable, but based on the IRCC website, it's around 11 weeks. But these we yeah. are still receiving earlier than that, some are longer than that. So it still depends on. So but what is showing what is showing in the MOP's website is around 60 days. Okay. But don't worry because you might have a risky po come in, like I'm really couple. One for the requirements when it comes to bringing your spouse, it will be discussed to you with Marvin and Sir Edward yes. during your one on one consultation. Yes, yes. Okay? Yes, for medical, they will also assist you on the practice. Okay, another question. Yes, Marvin. Okay, so there's no more question. Yeah, so uh, I believe so. What well, another question? So just again, just message past me and we can definitely help you. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, yes, and they, during your one on one consultation with Marvin and Edward, yeah. they will be providing you the breakdown ng lahat ng gastos uh -huh. via email and everything from. School application up to visa, handle accommodation, can I have a computation? Yes, Paul. Okay. Uh, okay. John, it will be emailed to you. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, submit your documents or email or something. And then we can. I mean, we have a question here for uh, to see and see what this is at first. Mm hmm. Uh, we have four programs under the business uh, diploma program. So that's leadership, marketing, international business, um, web and graphic. I forgot the other two, but there are options. All right. Thank you, Angelo. Uh, Marvin, maybe you can see the job for the number or John's email address. Alright. So the question Angelo is how to pay the question fee? Ah, the payment of question fee is by paying my question. Actually, once they receive the letter of offer ng duman ng instructions. Um, add to that, you have the option to pay via telegraphic transfer, so back to back, or we also have online via Dragon Pay. So, maraming new ways of paying it out. Uh, 
There's another question from Lord Evolutions. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, thank you everyone uh, for joining us today. Thank you, Sir Angelo and Ma'am Marvin. You're welcome. So, You're welcome, uh, uh, Marvin and Sir Edward. Yes. For all the participants today, just keep your contact number so that we can assess you. All right. So thank right. you, thank you, Angela, for uh, like being here with us this evening. Always welcome, and thank you, Tony, as well. Uh, I would like to thank our participants, our attendees. Thank you so much for attending this evening session, and thank you, Pasquay, for organizing this event. Thank, thank you, everyone. Have a good night, and have a good night, and have a great weekend. Happy weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.